What's up everybody? B-Boy Spaz here and today we're going to be looking at some different types of effects and reason particularly the audio merger and splitter or as they call it spider audio so the spider audio is actually pretty awesome because you can take it and split up your sounds and that gives you a whole bunch of different things you can do with that sound um, routing it out to a mixer so let's just kind of throw something together and see what we can do with it. So I'm going to create a NNXT and I'm going to load up a patch real quick. Let's do some kind of pad. Do -do 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 -do. So here we have a little pad. And if we flip around to the back, we can see that it's routed normally. Here's my output going directly in. So let's go ahead and record a part real quick. So there's a nice little synth line, and if I want to, I'm going to quantize it real quick and copy it. So what I can do with the merger or splitters, basically, I'm going to create one, but I'm going to hold down shift while I create it. By doing that, it's not going to automatically try and route the cables at all. Now I can flip over to the back and start splitting this. So as we see on the spider audio here, we have two different sections. And they each are either the merger, which is here on the left, and the splitter here on the right. Now for the merger, obviously, we're going to be taking different audio and putting them into each one of these inputs. And then we're getting one single output here at the end. Whereas on the splitter we're taking one input here and splitting it on the other end so since this is an output cable going to here I'm actually going to go ahead and just move this over to the output so that it's still on an output track then I want to take my outputs on my NNXT and move it to the input of the splitter and now my sound should still be routed But now because I have it set up to split, I can do other things as well, like create some other effects, like um, a unison and a phaser, and then take the output of this into the input there, and so on and so forth, routing this through and then back to the mixer. So now you see I have two tracks one with the unison and the phaser and one with just the sound and I can do this multiple times so yet again I can create another one that has delay on it and a filter so going out to my delay and then over to my filter and then back out so here's the filter track you know with filters we can play with the resonance and everything This is actually really useful when it comes to um, single sounds too, like drums, 
where you still want to have the normal kick or snare, but yet you want to put an effect separately to it. Um, you can just put it in the splitter and do it that way. Or I can also create another sound. So I'll just use Thor, I guess. And so I actually do a pad. And I'll just pick something random. And instead of sending this to the mixer, I can take it out to the merger here and move it out. And I can even take this and put it back into itself. There's all kinds of stuff you can do in Reason. It's really awesome. So see on the end here, it's both sounds together. So that was just a quick look at the audio merger and splitter. If there's anything else you want to see about it, um, or ways that I just like to use it, get at me, send me some questions, I'm always here to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe to the page because I'll keep on doing more tutorials, Reason, and Ableton, anything like that. So stay up on the page. Alright, peace.